Hi, my name is Annika. Um, I wanted to make a short video on why I've decided to uh, build out a van and live in it. I've gotten a lot of questions about this. Uh, I'm only 22 years old and I'm a recent college grad as of last May, so coming up on about a year now. Um, in the meantime, I've been planning this build, uh, saving money, figuring out the layout that I'd like, and really committing myself to uh, making this dream that I've had possible. Uh, when I was 18, which was four years ago, I sort of had this idea that, oh, yeah, I'll live in a tiny house someday. Came from volunteering in developing countries uh, prior to that and seeing, wow, these communities can really thrive without, you know, a house and plumbing and all these other amenities. And it just kind of gave me the idea of, you know, I can have a more simple life. And so initially it was a tiny house and I started making my own layouts during college and what I wanted to do. And that kind of quickly turned into, well, maybe that's not very feasible uh, for a few reasons. One being, you know, if you build a tiny house, you need a place to park it. You need a truck to pull it. And those were two big concerns that I had kind of right off the bat where the heck am I going to park this thing? And like, what type of vehicle, you know, I need to buy a big truck to be able to even pull it. And so I didn't really want to have to deal with that. So that's where I kind of came across this whole van life uh, little network. And it, it was very small at the time. Uh, it's recently become a lot more of a trend, which is a lot more exciting for me because I'm able to get a bit more inspiration on the type of build that I want to have and, you know, look to other blogs for resources and such to help me build this out on my own. Um, so I wanted to give you guys just a few reasons of why this makes sense for me at this point in my life. Um, the first being is that I'm totally fine with this sort of uh, lifestyle as of now. I don't feel like I need a lot. I mean, the last three years in college, I spent in a 10 by 10 uh, cube, basically dorm life for all three years and um, very just small living. You know, I didn't have a bathroom in my dorm. I didn't have a kitchen. I didn't have any of those things. It was very small. It was really just a place to sleep. And so I felt like the transition would be really perfect uh, since for the last couple of years of my life, I really had been living quite a small minimalistic lifestyle and it wouldn't have been too bad of a transition. Uh, secondly, I didn't really know where I was going after college, and I knew I wanted to take a year or two um, to knock out my finances and become financially independent, which is another reason why this makes a lot of sense. Um, I've always been interested in finances and trying to make the best decisions I can for myself just to set myself up in the future. Um, part of that being opening up a retirement account and investing monthly since I was 18. Um, and then now it's really tackling my undergraduate student loans, which is a, another video that I could get into of why I chose to have student loans versus uh, paying for it with a lot of my savings. Um, but I can save that for another video. Um, so financial independence is another big reason why this makes sense for me. Um, I don't like the idea of renting. I think it makes sense if you're just moving to a place and you don't know how long you're going to be there and you don't want to tie yourself down to that location because, or by buying a house. And so I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, but at the same time, like some, sometimes like you can get caught up renting for five years of your life. And if you're paying a thousand bucks a month for five years, that's 60 grand that you've really invested into nothing but a place, yeah, a place for comfort and and whatnot, but you don't really get anything out of it other than that. Um, and that's just really hard for me to process and digest. It'd be one thing if, um, you know, you had your own house and you're, you're buying into your mortgage every month and then you had something to sell at the end of it. But with renting from other people, you know, it's great for them, but it's, it really doesn't make a lot of sense if you plan to do it for longer than two years. And I really don't see myself buying a house for, several years. So I, and I also don't feel like I'm going to be tied down to a specific area for the next several years. So that's why my plan was to build this out is because I can live in it. I can invest in it. I can appreciate the value of the vehicle 
and even sell it for just as much as I bought it for. Um, and that is a huge pro to me. It makes sense financially. Um, it'll be more than enough that I need. And in the meantime, like I'm currently working and it would be perfect for the lifestyle that I live uh, at the moment. And I'm planning on applying to medical school where for four years of medical school, it'll make even more sense because, you know, why spend 80 hours a week in a library and academic buildings and hospitals just to spend maybe a thousand bucks a month somewhere else just to sleep somewhere. So the schedule of medical school too, that I'm anticipating is going to be, you know, financially not conducive at all. So that's a, that's something that I feel like will make a big difference for me. And, you know, beyond that, uh, I think that being able to really have my backyard to be wherever I want it to be, um, whatever neighborhood, whatever park, wherever I want it to be is exciting to me. Um, there's a bit of freedom that comes with it. And even at my age, it's almost feels like a security blanket. Like, you know, what if something like the coronavirus happens and you can't pay rent and the federal government isn't willing to, to help people out? Um, that can make times very hard for people. And, um, you know, having this sort of like, okay, I won't have to move home with my parents. Um, I will have a place to stay kind of no matter what. If, you know, shit hits the fan, basically. So with, as for security net, like it makes me feel better about things as well. Um, and, and lastly, uh, like I can travel in it if I want and I can go to national parks and I can go on long trips up to Canada and, and, uh, camp and, and do outdoor activities that I enjoy without, um, you know, trying to find an Airbnb or, or whatever, just kind of go off the grid and have fully functioning solar panels and a van that I can, you know, shower, bathroom, uh, electric, make food, do all of those things. It's, it sounds amazing to me. It's always been exciting to me. And, um, so it, that's why I think this is just, was inevitable. I was just sort of waiting for the time for it to happen. And so, um, now I'm just starting the build out and hopefully, you know, in the next couple months, uh, it'll be wrapping up and I'll be able to move out of where I'm currently living and into the van and kind of start this next journey of life. So I'm very excited for that. Um, if you have any questions, just comment below. I'd be happy to answer any other questions you have, but I will be uh, posting more videos of documenting, not only documenting my build and where I'm at, um, but also other little tidbits of information that I have about, you know, why I want to live a specific way, uh, financially, um, dealing with financial burden of having student loans and trying to work towards financial independence while meeting personal goals and having time to explore and, and do other things that I love and how I plan to balance that and how I'm currently balancing that. So I would like to um, document a bit more about that. So, but thanks for following along and I hope you're able to check out my other videos that I end up posting and uh, check out my Instagram too at the mountain County. Um, you can see it up on my header. Uh, I document most of my daily work that I do on the van there as well as post pictures and time lapses and a lot of uh, information regarding my build that you might find helpful if you decide to do this for yourself at some point. So thank you and I'm looking forward to this journey.